That time of year again, people. First week of Call of Duty. It's been a rough week, but the struggle is real. This is my best gameplay from the week. Let's begin. Advanced Warfare is a fun, fast-paced game. One word that explains this game to me is action. There's a whole lot of it. The downsides are the spawns. There's so much jumping around that every game you will die at, at least four or five times. And like, all those fucking kills are from, uh, getting killed from behind. I'm using the bow right here. It's a pretty good gun. It's OP right now. A lot of people are talking about it. It's all over YouTube. Fist of Cuffs, Wings of Redemption, all those dudes are, they're talking about it. Especially T. Mart and all those guys. They just going on the bandwagon. Um, what's another thing we can talk about? And I give props to people that can go on kill streaks in this game because it's freaking hard as hell. So many people freaking running around, jumping around on rooftops, getting killed from behind. It's nonstop. It's nuts. This is my best gameplay. 27, I think I was 27 and 7. You'll see it then for a little bit. You can take a screenshot of it. But it doesn't matter. You die a lot from behind. And when I play the game on uh, Rye, this is Rye right here. I uh, I stay stay in the rooftops. I like to go inside once in a while because everybody just crams in the middle once in a while. But most of the time in this game, everybody's jumping on the top of the roof, staying on top. Um, it's an exciting game. There's a lot of things going on in it. Especially the hovering. That's the best in this game. The hovering. That's a, I think that's what I have on in this game. I don't know if I use it. Because most of the time you realize you don't even remember using it. You don't even remember you have it on there. It's nuts though. A lot of my friends have taken it off. They didn't even use exo ability. But this is week one. And this is like the third game I played. In the third day or something like that. I don't even know. But everybody was testing them out. Now. End of the week. This is Sunday. Not so much. Exo suits are not even used, the jumping and the boosting is, but the exosuits not useful anymore. Um, week 1 has had some problems, the connections, uh, they suck, they're so horrible, you're one barring it, even if you have full bar, it feels like you're one barring it. Uh, because of the connections, the hit detection, that's off, that's off as hell. This game right here actually had a good connection, so you'll see like, Every time I hit somebody, you could feel it. You could just feel the bullets hitting the guys, and then you know that you're gonna come. You know, when you have a connection, you know you have a connection, and it's, it's awesome. Uh, the what else is there? Besides that, actually, it's a pretty fun game. Jumping around. Didn't think I was gonna like it. I I don't like futuristic games, but it's Call of Duty. I have to play it. Feels like COD. Looks like COD, but there's just something about it. You know, it's not Call of Duty jumping around, all the futuristic crap. The exo suit, exo suit's pretty cool. Customizing your guy is pretty fun, but some people really don't care about that crap. They just want to play as long as the gameplay's good. It's fun. Uh, me personally, it doesn't feel like Call of Duty because I played all all the Call of Duties pretty much. Me and my friends since 2007. Even before that, I had the Call of Duty for PS1 or PS2. Actually, my bad, PS2. And then I played Call of Duty 3 and all those. I played them all. Um, the major differences in the game. Uh, this one is a lot faster than Ghost because I played Ghost on the PS4. This is what it. This is what I'm using, obviously. Uh, Ghost was really slow. This game is so refreshing because everybody's jumping around. The games end pretty fast. And the one thing is. Everybody's talking about they're using, uh, what's it called, the connection. They're using the skills connection, whatever that is. And skill-based matchmaking. It's fun, but it's intense. Every game feels like you're playing somebody that's like you. So that's nuts. Like It comes down to the wire. Every five kills, every ten kills at the end. Whoever gets it, good job for you. Um, it's been frustrating with that because it's getting annoying because the connections, that's what's killing people. Especially week one. This is week one. This is Sunday, but this game plays from like the third day and Sunday like I think Saturday I played me and my friends when you party up. Oh, man It's so bad you and your friends trying to play it's ridiculous playing by yourself amazing um, The guns week one the guns everybody's using the bow It's beating out SMGs. people are complaining about the SMG sucking, but when you have a good connection 
I've killed people across the map with SMGs. It takes a little bit more bullets, but it's it's possible. It's the connection that's making everything look sucky, in my opinion. Because I play with a good connection in some games, and it's amazing. Um, the guns, hopefully they buff them, and not like nerf them. Because if you buff the guns, it's going to be if it fixed the other guns, so everybody will have fun. Like if you're an SMG player, buff the SMGs up a little bit, boom, you'll be fine. Um, it took a couple games to get used to the exo abilities, but once you do like three, four, five games, it comes like second nature to you. Like you, you understand it. You under you know how to use it. You click the analog stick in left, right. It's very simple. I thought it was gonna be hard and difficult. It's very fun, very fast. Like oh, you can save yourself so many times. I've jumped up behind people, come down, slammed them in the head with my fist or whatever, your boot, whatever. It's so fast. Um. The streaks suck. They're not that fun. Like the kill streaks are ridiculously like. There's stuff to use the perks that you attach everything to them, and you can make them last longer. But they don't last that long. And when you do get them to last long, you don't get kills on them. They need to be buffed. The damage sucks. They're trying to force you to use the danger close perk because that uses like kill streaks makes them stronger. But they should just be strong in the first place because it takes forever. They need to change the how many points they already get because it's ridiculous. Um. This game is really refreshing though, like it's fun, fast as hell. I've been playing people that are as good as I am. It comes down to the wire every time. It's ridiculous. But I like it. It's a fun game. Um, but this this is uh, this is recommended to get. I recommend this game. But I don't recommend it until like Christmas time. Because it needs a lot of patches done to it. But uh... This is a really good game, and uh, hope you guys like the commentary. Hope you like gameplay. My first one, and this is your buddy Dirty Thirty, and see you on the next vid. Dirty Thirty signing out. Peace.